Today, we're going to find out if we are getting six more weeks of winter. You are taking a live look from Gobbler's Knob, Pennsylvania, where good old Phil will make his prognostication <laughs> later this morning, <laughs> virtually, of course, because of the pandemic. We're taking you sort of a trip down memory lane right here. I'm going to take a guess and say his answer is yes, because we have all of the snow on the ground. And remember, Phil is Phil, but Jeff <laughs> is my guy. All right. Well, you know what, Phil and Jeff, not the only fuzzy prognosticators out there. We have one of our own, Buckeye Chuck in and, Ohio. Yeah, and Marion. But who is more accurate? Meteorologist Mackenzie Bart, she crunched the numbers and talked to the experts to find out. Early spring or six more weeks of winter, Groundhog Day has us all wondering, who is more accurate? Is it Punxsutawney Phil or our own Buckeye Chuck? Groundhog Day, where we leave our spring forecast in the paws of a groundhog. The rules are the same, no matter where you go. If they see their shadow, that means six more weeks of winter. No shadow, then spring is right around the corner. But depending on who you listen to, the forecast could be different. I don't think I know that his predictions are 100% accurate. The world famous Punxsutawney Phil started his forecasting on the first Groundhog Day in 1887. Each year, folks from all around the world will travel to a small town in Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, to hear Phil's prediction. But how accurate is Phil really? I went to Phil's handler to find out. Phil, you know, luckily for him, it's a, you know, it's a gift that he's received from, from nature or the powers that be uh, that he's able to predict the weather. When I crunch the numbers, Phil has predicted 20 springs and 104 winters dating back to when records were kept. Phil has only been right six times in the past 15 years, giving him a 40% accuracy rate during that time. That's the disconnect though. You gotta interpret, Phil, interpret Phil's message. And, you know, especially with COVID, the training, you know, doing the online training for the, for the Groundhog Ease, I think has been a challenge for him and uh, something he's gonna have to work through. So it's the job of the president of the Inner Circle to understand Phil's Groundhog Ease and relate that message to the crowd. If we'll see an early spring or six more weeks of winter. But Phil isn't the only weather loving rodent. Here in Ohio, we put our trust in Buckeye Chuck. Never heard of him. Buckeye Chuck has been predicting the weather since 1979. His fame began when longtime radio host Charlie Evers noticed him hanging around the station in Marion. And Buckeye Chuck has been forecasting ever since. Found that Buckeye Chuck uh, over the years has been uh, more consistent. Uh, and he's kind of nailed it the last few years. Last year, he, he nailed it completely. It's okay if you're a fan uh, of that rodent that lives to the east, but but we don't we don't necessarily call him by name here. So it's a it's an Ohio thing. Looking back over the past 15 years, when we compare his forecast to actual climate data, Buckeye Chuck has an accuracy of over 50%. So he has been right eight of the 15 times. And if you really want the most accurate forecast, you can turn to your 10TV team of meteorologists. Reporting from Columbus, Mackenzie Bart, 10TV News.